Hello everybody, welcome to the final video of Friday. <laughs> And it's not going to be the final video of this uh, Fun in the Sun sales. Uh, but what I wanted to do is look at some of the best things to buy. Uh, we're going to look at free to play and then we're going to move on to spending. So kind of like a half and half for this particular video. So there's a lot of things to go over, but I will just kind of like simply just get to the point with stuff. Relics are not in any of the deals. You know, so what's my thoughts on some of these tier one? First of all, tier one, Paragon. We'll start with Paragon. This deal here is, I, I like to refer to this as just a bit of fun. Like the tier one A deal where you get four Paragon Crystals and 1,257 Star Shards, it's a bit of fun. And it's a bit of fun because those Paragon Crystals equate to 800 units. The deal is worth 750 plus the extra one, two, five, oh, seven Star Shards. So it's a little bit more value, valuable. It's not completely. It's just one of these things where I recommend it for a bit of fun. I bought it, but I bought it because it gets me close to a seven star and I need another seven star in order to do shooting star quest. That's one of the reasons I've done it. I'm also going to be doing act 8.2 soon and looking to kind of get some stuff by that. Or I might buy some, if I'm desperate to get to 15K, I might buy it from the Battleground store. But uh, yeah, anyway, you do you at the end of the day uh, with that one. Uh, so the middle one is pretty good for those at Paragon. Uh, the B deal, 20,000 six star shards. You could get that for free. It's it's one of these lesser of two evils, especially because compared with the one on the far right, which is the tier five class catalyst, uh, selected times two, the 20 tier two alphas and the 12 tier five basic. To be honest, between both of them, you can get them for free. So... Pff, it's a hard sell on these ones, and maybe it's a case it puts you into that A deal in order to unlock the other the other bracket of tier two. That's just my personal opinion. It's a weird one because all three seem to be a bit naff, if any, if anything. B is a is kind of like an iffy one, but I think it's specific to what you want. And something to point out, and just to, before I go any further, you choose what you want in game. I'm just assessing it based on what I see, what you can get in game, and what you get for free, but if you're close to something like another rank four six star, you may be going to yourself. Well, I'll, I'll take the the B deal. Fine, uh, again, fine. It's absolutely fine. Anyway, moving on to tier two. In tier two, there's some good stuff on offer, and it's a bit of a difficult one. It is. So um, I would say that uh, A of tier two is very much a case of if you are close to a five uh, first seven star then you may be opting to get those five thousand seven star shards and the same thing but if you are pushing to get a rank two seven star you may want to grab a little bit and the same but then that's more of a case for number c c is all about uh, number c <laughs> c because that's all about you getting a selector for a tier six class catalyst which again is important for a lot of paragon based players that want to push things like rank five six stars and rank two seven stars to lesser a degree with that one um but you do get two awakening gems with that one and also 100 signature stones of six star but let's face it that only one and that's the problem is it's an iffy one as well because there's only one tier six class catalyst selector in now just the one which causes a problem because then you have to be quite specific the b one again this is a pretty good one if you're looking to strengthen your roster so a roster strengthener and then the other two either side, A and, a and C, are about roster evolution. A little bit of A and a little bit with C. If I'm being honest, I would have preferred that uh, the 7 star shards and the tier 6 class catus be in the same one. It's an iffy one to unlock then the further one. So choose what is best for you when it comes to, are you ranking up a champion? Are you trying to get another 7 star? Are you trying to get a 7 star to rank 2? It depends where you're at uh, when it comes to the game. So... My picks are, to a lesser degree, A and B. And then it's either B or A and C, depending on where you are in the game. Tier 3, however, when you get to A, B and C, this again depends down on, again, where you're at in the game. Are you hunting for something? If you're hunting for something, you may be more inclined to uh, to go down the route of the 2019 to 2021 selected, which you get two options are. But if you've got the champions... And you may want to go for the 2022 one. So, again, that's down to your personal preference. The problem is, I would say with B, it is specific based on what you want. Do you, another, do you want another 7 star? Do you not want one? 
when I looked at this, my only kind of like reservations on this one, and this is the problem, Kabam are quite sneaky in that if you're chasing a rank 5 6 star, you want to go A. But at the same time, if you're looking to strengthen your 7 star side of things, get a new 7 star, you'll be pushed B. And it's cheeky as well because in C, they've got three tier 6 class catalyst selectors, which is a problem because again, it kind of like forces the narrative on things and kind of makes you to feel that when you get the reset of this, that you're kind of going right the way through on uh, you know to, to tier three each time you're spending a ton of units and getting to a point of going well i can't go any oh you know I'll, I'll, I'll go there oh no but i've got to get that one as well you kind of feel like you have to get all of them which again causes a problem um for the unitary spend and what you get back from it so this is why i'm kind of hoping more for cyber weekend deals because because this is all about being you you are being boxed into a corner with what you choose which i, I kind of feels a bit problematic and annoying uh but yeah like from all of this there and then you know you've got you, you have to do tier four um so that's again that's a problem i maybe would advise if you've got the units for it is to go on a course to get a bit of progression with your account and you evolve it so you're going a you're going tier tier two tier three um tier four you're down to tier four and then if you have the the units or don't want to go any stop there right that's 18,000 units spent, stop there. Uh, or if you're kind of going, right, well, I'll spend a further, I don't know, 3,750 more units, then go from, I don't know, A to to something like C, and that may facilitate what you need. You could get out, get away with spending 21,000 units and being, um, uh, no, actually, yeah, more than 21,000 units and feeling you've got something that you want. It's not great because 18,000 units used to get you sorted uh, in last July 4th deals. And now it's not. And that sucks. It uh, sucks for a lot of people that kind of went and uh, stopped at 18,000 units. I always say with Cyber Weekend, you've got to push for 21,000 units. And we'll see what happens uh, this year. I need to get to work on that one. Sharpish. But anyway, the point to get to with all of this is that Paragon deals... There's some good deals there, but it depends on what you want. And the problem is, it's a stretch between pushing you towards rank five, six stars or seven star creation. And that's a problem to have a fork in a road. It's a different case when it comes to Thronebreaker, to a degree, and Cavalier, because they've been boxed into the same location. Uh, but yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of stuff here to avoid. As I said, B and C are questionable. C is a no-go. Don't even bother there. Um, but yeah, that's why I would um, chart myself. If I was, if it was me and I had the units, I would largely go to create a rank five six star because I only have uh, I can I, enough for two, so I I want to get three and maybe more. So I would normally I would kind of go A because to get me close to a another seven star, I probably would go down the route of um, of C basically because again it gets me close to another rank five six star and then i would go down again and pick up another rank five six star in shape and form of uh, this bundle a picking up a god tier champion or two from the selector um but look if i if i was pushing my seven star roster i would probably go in a different direction it just depends on what you know what you fancy doing and uh, yes you could then kind of throw yourself over to um to here with the selectors uh, for the rank five six star but i kind of feel like i just want to get um well yeah it's either a or c so I'd probably go there for throne breaker and cavalier players for cavalier players this is a godsend for those that throne breaker you may be very disappointed so do bear in mind if you're cavalier and throne breaker you can go to things at battleground store and other stores in order to pick up items so you can save yourself a lot when it comes to uh, spend therefore holding back on your units uh, before going uh, so far but go down to I just it just boils down to where you are, what you want, and look a cavalier player is picking could pick up some like amazing stuff to rank for six stars maybe, you know uh, is it worth it? Dep again depends, depends how close you are to ranking up some uh, some six stars to uh, a further location. Throwing breaker players sadly will have to feel that like they have to push down into tier three and tier four to feel that they're getting something super spicy from it. Thronebreaker players are really going to see something as soon as they go B, B again in tier 1, tier 2. And when they get into tier 3, I would say you're going B, like B or C. Because a Thronebreaker player would have to kind of assess whether or not they are close to... Um, I think it's going to be all about like ranking up uh, champions and rank 4 and 6 stars. 
getting choice champions from that 20, 2022 six star um champion selector it's gonna be so important or then or then kind of like coming back and going c however though with c i just don't think it's too championy it's too kind of like new championy kind of selectory i'm not saying you don't want that but what i will say to that is that you could save yourself the hassle um of coming back down here again and going b again and then going to and going to uh tier four and getting getting like another rank four six star I don't want to guess Thronebreakers, but look, you're going to be nowhere close, if I'm to guess, at getting a 7-star fully formed. You may be close. If you're close, you're like 2,007-star shards off, then go for it. Or kind of go, you know, three. if you're 3,000, if you, if you are 2,000 off, go for the 3,000. The reason being, you get more of an opportunity to rank for 6-star. And as well, you get uh, another kind of like a champion selector. Whereas, you know, unfortunately, with this one here... You're getting just like what four six four new six stars. Yes, you get to select them. Yes, you could choose them as god tiers, but you may not want to kind of rank four or six star them. You may be more inclined to go down the route of going, well, look, let's make a stronger rank four six star roster. I can buy. I could even you could even go A, and that's like there's two rank four six stars. Again, down to personal choice on that one. I just don't see a huge lot of value in C unless you've got a lot of materials for rank four six starring. Or rank three, maybe, yeah, okay, that could, that could be a good shout. But what do Thronebreaker players want to have? Stronger champions. Yes, they want to acquire champions, but let's assume that you are acquiring them left, right, and center. Featured crystals and the way to go. Featured six stars. You get a lot of kind of champions that were recently introduced into the game. I know a lot of people do do that. So again, that's the thing, isn't it? Did you have enough six star shards? Were you more inclined to kind of go down that route of there? As I said, for sadly for Thronebreakers, I must, my personal opinion is you've got nothing on offer to you uh, until you reach the kind of like latter tiers. And especially if you are choosing rank four, six star materials, which look, if you go B, B again, um, and then uh, go down to, uh, to, to A, then yes, you get rank four, six stars and obviously go down to tier four. So yeah, there's some stuff on that. And if you're if you're a Cavalier player, you you may be a bit kind of overwhelmed because there's going to be stuff that may be beyond your um, progression title. Rank four, six stars for Cavalier players. Come on, that's something that's pretty nice. That that's honestly, if you if you if I was a Cavalier player and I had uh, forty thousand units, I'd look at this event and be like, like this is a godsend. Cavalier players have been looked after by Kabam ridiculous uh but yeah like go for what you feel is going to be good for your roster and progression but as i said you'll be able to get some stuff that's going to take you through some content so anything's really good for a cavalier player but just avoid things like uh you know c uh which is uh c of, t of tier a mainly because y you can get a lot of that stuff for free unless you really need that stuff uh, to kind of progress further with stuff a is an iffy one, but again, it's down to shards. It just depends on what you want. And as you go further into stuff like, yeah, it's just a case of value. As I said, for C, it's an iffy one because of all those selectors. But if you're a Cavalier player and have 7,500 units and you're there, that could make a lot of difference to a lot of champions. And you can get a lot of god tier champions. It just depends on what you want from it. There's a lot of good stuff, but do avoid the... Uh, the issues and the treacle um, that can come with it. Like, uh, uh, I'd probably say uh, A's, A in tier 2 is a bit of an iffy one, but pff, again, down to personal choice on that one. Just quickly on the spending side of things, it depends on what you want. Like, if, do bear in mind, like, spending on this game is a difficult one because every it's like you can buy a PlayStation game, uh, an Xbox game. 60 pounds like you're spending like one thousand dollars in order to kind of get a um to get like a, a ch some champions that you could get a bank on the banquet event crystal will have a bit of a luck with it so um the value of a six star relic has depreciated we've now seen seeing nexus relic crystals to be honest we're seeing but like the, the this it's crazy it's crazy how much the devaluation depreciation of the relics have gone but weird that they are now in the spending deals as opposed to the unitary deals. We'll have to see what happens with Cyber Weekend on that one. And it's weird, but yeah, we'll, we'll cover that in the future. 
So, um, spending wise, Paragon, uh, 3,410 3, units. That, there's some good stuff on offer. Abyss level Nexus selectors are in the spending. A lot more six star, a lot more seven star shards are on offer. So that's something to mention as well. High volume of tier six class catalyst selectors. Tier six basic, um, yeah, like there, there's some good stuff that are there, but of course you've got to buy it. And again, that's down to personal choice. What would I get if I was to spend? And I wouldn't spend at all. Uh, sadly, it would be the most kind of like expensive because sadly, that is where the better stuff is. You know, for, for $99, you're able to get a rank four to five gem crystal, which is a very rare thing. 6,007 star shards, bit of a rare thing because it's 3,100 units worth, which if you compare to some of the other deals uh, that we've been presented by uh, Kabam, which are there... 3,100 units. What does that get you for if you're a Paragon player? Do, 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 do. Uh, no, that's not that one. It is there. Uh, so, yeah, 3,100 or whatever units, 5K. So, you still you get like one 1K-ish based on the value, uh, more seven-star shards. But you get more, again, more value for it. So, you get, um, again, where's those uh, those details? Right there, so yes, that abyss level next to selectors, so that's a better quality, and that, um, so yeah, like th there's a better quality on offer, and you get some spare units for the value. So it's uh, it's sad, but it is what it is with uh, with stuff like this. But uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description to this if you if you want to check it out. And that's really it. Like I don't want to go too much into it uh, with this stuff. Uh, spending wise, there's there's tons. A lot of time when you spend your Spend your money, you're getting better value in comparison to um, to kind of those that are free to play if you're spending on the, the unit caches. But um, what's your thoughts on uh, these uh, these particular deals? In my personal opinion on the deals, they are better than Cyber Weekend deals because the meta shift for the game is very different than what it was the game in 2022 versus how it is in 2023. The new setup is better than July 4th deals 2022. That's something we can all say. Cavalier deals are better than they were before. Thronebreaker deals are are not and um yeah you can't change my mind on that i've seen i've seen it on screen throne breaker deals throne breaker players will probably be very disappointed with uh, with what they what they've seen uh, with this one more so because they've been bolted in with cavalier players from a paragon perspective it's the split seven star shards seven star champions rank two in seven stars or rank five in six stars that's the problem with the split now we are split we're starting to split off in different directions tier six class catalyst seven stars that way and other stuff there no relics can be seen as a good thing but they've been devalued incredibly in the last uh 12 no six months so um so yeah more on that i think with cyber weekend deals there are some things on offer I know players are saying that it's not very good. I, I would say that from Paragon perspective, they are good, right? There's some good things bad. Yeah, there's some bad stuff, but there are some good things on offer, especially compared with um, with how previous deals have gone and how they've done the setup. But I do agree with um, with with players that the way that they have been set out is stinky and it's stinky because the extent of units that you require to what you get back looking at i'm looking at things like the solo event which is just coming with this one makes the event stinky because it's kind of forcing you towards a narrative of you have to have at least thirty-six thousand units in order to get um, some of these chase champions and that's the problem um with this one i think it's going to be the same of what's to come and this is why i think you'll need to have more units saved up each and every year for these particular deals but we'll see if that theory comes to fruition it's just a case of how it is from this solo event but that's been the video hope you enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe check out some other content located on screen right now i'll see you all soon have a great day bye bye